I'm Troy Marks, uh, product manager on the electrical team here. And I'm happy to introduce to you and your readers for the first time, we haven't announced this yet in the market, uh, the Milwaukee 102 by 77 spot infrared. So you go back 10 years ago and you look at the, what's happened to the price of TVs, it really compressed, right? So 10 years ago, when the big screen's first launch, hugely expensive, massive size units, uh, not for everybody. Priced a lot of people out of the market, to move, uh, too, too big to fit in a lot of spaces. But then the price is down. Same thing's happening with the infrared market. And what that's done is that, you know, four, five, six years ago, the only people that used infrared cameras were dedicated thermographers. So that was their job, to be experts in thermal imaging. They were, you know, facility maintenance techs and uh, engineers that wanted to keep factories up and running. Or electrical professionals for insurance auditing, things like that. But the compression that's been taking place in the infrared market has brought many millions of more users to the fold. And that's all the users that subscribe to your content. So if you're an electrician, that's being able to find a loose connection in the circuit breaker. If you're a plumber trying to find the leaking pipe or to evaluate a leak in radiant floor. If you're an HVAC guy, that's evaluating motor control systems. Automotive mechanics looking at an engine block or brake pads for wear. Um, general contracting, so where's, where's insulation missing? Where did that subcontractor miss on poor craftsmanship? So these are the types of things that have expanded the user base from a couple hundred thousands to millions. And then all of those people are the people that you guys are reaching out to every single day. But the person buying the TV and the person buying the camera for an infrared imaging product are looking for the same thing. It really boils down to one key need, and that's image quality. If you don't have a good image, you can't see what you're looking at, it's pointless to have bought. So you look out in the market today, you look at what's available, you get some very low quality, low pixel resolutions. So here's your brand new, brand new uh, TV you just bought. You can pass those around once you get a look. Tell me what you can see inside uh, our mystery box here. Can you even see that it's a box? A human heart. <laughs> human heart, that's uh, it's a little more good. <laughs> End of the day, I'll let that go. <laughs> but you really can't see anything. So this is akin to you getting that TV back home, and you're flipping it on, ready to watch the big game, and you don't even know what channel you're watching. You can't see anything. So then you step up, okay. Now we get a couple more pixels, you're up to 4,800. Okay. So now you're probably gonna see some, some things inside that box that you couldn't see before. Some definition starting to take place, right? So long. Ah, okay, so there's some more. But you're probably missing a couple things. So this one you're just going to simply press and hold the trigger to be able to scan. You keep passing these around. Some more back here. So just press and hold. And the one thing you're going to notice is that the image quality immediately <coughs> is a lot higher. So you're immediately able to see that it's the Milwaukee logo. And you probably even picked up things that you didn't see on this, even the second camera. Maybe some holes, some hot spots on the top, or maybe even the ones on the bottom that still have some residual heat. So image quality is, is really based, the building block of that is pixel count. So the more pixels you put onto a single screen, the denser your image, the clearer that image. So then you're asking yourself, why does that matter? And it matters for your readers for a lot of different reasons, but the most important thing is root cause. So before an HVAT, HVAC tech shuts down an AC unit to a building, before an electrician powers down to shut a panel off, they want to know exactly what's wrong with it so they can minimize the downtime. Low quality images don't tell you root cause. So you save time, you save money, and you increase the value that your readers can provide to their customers through infrared technology. Our product, the 102 by 77 spot infrared imager, not only provides that need, but does it with almost twice the pixel count of the nearest competitor. So what you're gonna be, what you want to take away is that infrared today, as the price has compressed and the market's gotten a lot uh, more competitive, is that all users have a benefit of infrared imaging in their day-to-day -day lives, day-to-day -day work, but image quality matters. And having delivering twice the pick, almost twice the pixels, delivering the best image quality in class, provides the best solutions for our users in the critical maintenance, service, and repair portion of their entire lifecycle.